What's up guys? Um, I've just really had the realization that this next, these next three months, um, I'm gonna have my hands full. <laughs> because with this triathlon that I'm doing, you know, it's swimming, biking, running, and of those three, the only thing that I've really worked on and barely is running. And the reason for this is obviously, you know, it's pretty cold out. Um, I'm not really a fan of indoor work, you know, and I don't like swimming pools. I don't like treadmills. Um, and I didn't own a bike. So what I was doing for training was I would kickbox. You know, I would kickbox and do strength training. Um, and recently I started stretching more and doing yoga and it's really cool because the crossover for that has been amazing you know my, my running is actually great um, I was in a pool I've been in a pool twice you know this this year and both times you know I really rocked it and in terms of biking I, I went to a spin class and I did really well in that so there's a lot of crossover um, athleticism that has come from all that, uh, you know, the, the cardio from the kickboxing and, and the strength from the, the kickboxing, the strength training and all, you know, the body weight training. Um, and in the past, you know, I've done work, you know, with pull-ups and push-ups on my own. I got to start, start bringing that back. But you, you really, I mean, in order to get all this in, it's, it's almost like I remember talking to like, a, like a, an Ironman trainer over at he's Wicker Park. He owns a gym called uh, WellFit. So they actually prepare people for the Ironman and for triathlons and stuff. And he was telling me, oh, you know, you're gonna have to cut down strength training to two days a week. You know, you might have to leave the kickboxing gym for a bit. You know, maybe you can do it one day a week or something like that. And immediately I was like, I'm not gonna do that, you know, cause that's where all my friends are. And I love, I love that gym and it's right next to me. and. I love kickboxing, and um, but he's making a point in that what he's saying is you only have limited time to do all of these things, and it's so true. You know, I mean, you have to make sure you're getting in swimming, you gotta make sure you're getting in biking, you gotta make sure you're getting in running. Um, so, you know, what I figure is this whole corona thing, I don't know how long it's gonna last for, but. You know, I, I gotta start swimming in the lake at one point because I can't stand, I don't like swimming in pools because the chlorine makes me sick. Um, and then I got to, like I said, the, the running I got down, but you know, now I'm gonna be getting a bike. So one of the training is, part of the training is, it's not just riding a bike, it's actually riding a bike and then getting off the bike and then getting on foot because that is part of the dynamic that this guy was trying to, Talk to me about it. he was like a lot of people don't realize that <clears throat> it's not biking and running it's running after you've you know done a considerable considerable amount of work on the bike and people don't realize how that feels and people don't prepare for that so that's one of the things I'm gonna do make sure to do it just kind of get that dynamic in but <clears throat> I still want to kickbox I still want to do yoga still want to stretch you know I'm, again I want to start adding my normal routine of pull-ups and push-ups that doesn't take very long and all the while I still want to get you know the triathlon training so you know this next semester it's really about for me trying to squeeze everything in in, in an organized sort of way uh, without overdoing anything and you know like uh, without um, just being able to manage the time properly, so I'm excited. It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see how I, I manage all of this. Um, but I think it is it is doable. It just it's it's a matter of you know what do you what do you plan on doing today? Okay, stick with that. Make sure you get enough rest tomorrow. You know you're gonna do this and there's it's a three month it's basically a three month span because it's on June 28th. So I got I got three months to to prep for this. So. I am psyched and I'm already really prepped, I feel, because I've been training really hard for a long time, um, but now it's just really 
being able to focus in on these specific these specific exercises. So, um, is that what you would call it? exercises? Swimming, biking, and, and running? Yeah. Cool beans, guys. Peace, peace. Have a good one.